White supremacy is a poison. It's a poison <laughs> running through our, it really is. A violent, random attack on the Upper West Side is captured on camera. Now police are trying to find the man who did it. You can see the suspect throw the 55-year-old victim to the ground, then repeatedly punch him and even appear to stomp on his head. This happened two weeks ago around 2.40 in the afternoon in front of 2700 Broadway. Top story this half hour. A suspect is in custody after a heartless attack on a 92-year-old woman. The woman fell and hit her head on a fire hydrant. According to the United States intelligence community, domestic terrorism from white supremacists is the most lethal terrorist threat in the homeland. Police are also investigating another seemingly unprovoked attack. A person crossing the street in Harlem hit in the back of the head with a bottle repeatedly. Watch the suspect that he's running towards his victim take a violent swing with a bottle and strikes a man from behind. A disturbing story, a random violent attack on a woman in her 60s, sending her to the hospital. The whole thing caught on camera. Then Jay follows after her, throwing her again. Police are searching for the suspect seen in surveillance video, sucker punching a stranger. Surveillance video shows this man punch a random stranger so hard in the Bronx, the victim collapses onto the sidewalk with a broken jaw. As the victim struggles to stand, the suspect appears to go after him a second time. And we won't ignore what our intelligence agency have determined to be the most lethal terrorist threat to the homeland today. White supremacy is terrorism. It took a month and a half, but there has been an arrest in the assault of actor Rick Moranis. Moranis was punched in the head while walking in New York. Turns out the suspect has allegedly struck before. Tonight, never before seen video from inside a bus when police say a woman pushed an elderly man to his death. It was a cowardly sucker punch caught on camera. An Asian woman knocked to the ground. The man under arrest has a lengthy rap sheet. A woman walking down the sidewalk knocked to the ground with a single punch. Her attacker walks away as people rush to help the injured woman. We cannot and must not give hate any safe harbor. Any safe harbor. Well, a brutal and unprovoked attack is captured on camera. Three women walking along an East Pass Young sidewalk were minding their own business when a man showed up and began to punch them. An unknown man comes up from behind and out of nowhere strikes one of them in the face. He turns, punching a second woman, knocking her down before going in for another hit. When the third woman tries to stop him, he pins her against a wall and starts swinging until she stumbles backward onto the sidewalk. An elderly man was ran randomly attacked last week. The incident happened last Thursday outside the Albert Sids at Maryland Parkway and Flamingo. The man was pushing a shopping cart when the attacker walked up and just hit him in the head, as you can see, and then ran off. We need to say as clearly and force as we can that the ideology of white supremacy has no place in America. None.